Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a video on how to color grade any log file quickly um, without having to use LUTs. The first thing you probably want to do is calibrate your monitor using a gamma calibration tool like Quick Gamma or this uh, Calibrize utility. That way you're actually seeing the grades of gamma and brightness uh, on your monitor as are the data in the video. Um, if those two are out of whack, you'll notice things being blown out on your monitor when they're not actually blown out in data or the shadows being crushed when they're actually, there's detail in there, you just can't see them on your monitor. So that's important. One thing about log files is to, the first step is to make sure you've exposed them correctly. So as you can see here in the Lumetri scope, this one's actually got quite a lot of clipping in it and the data down here seems to be okay. And I uh, just have a video here of just being out onto the street. And this is kind of the exposure you're looking for here is where it's not clipping at the top or bottom. You can work with that file kind of the best, but I did mess up the exposure on these shots a little bit. But we're gonna, here's a piece of video where we're not clipping on either the top or the bottom, so we can, we can uh, bring the color and contrast back into this file using, we're gonna use Lumetri Color, but we're not gonna use a LUT, we're gonna go right down here to Curves, and we're gonna start by applying a curve to this, but we're gonna just stretch out the top and bottom of the Lumetri scope here so that we have a good starting point. Bring that down a little bit, and then bring the highlights up near the top a little bit. It still gives us a little bit of room to work with. And then we're gonna put in your basic S curve. And our goal is to just bring, just to stretch the scope out so that the contrast is across the entire scope. Color. And that's already starting to look a little bit better. Now from here you can play with it a little bit more. I kind of want to bring down the shadows a little bit more. And now we can go back to basic correction and use these sliders for fine tuning. So you can't really get everything you want out of the just the sliders here. Even if you crank the contrast all the way up without using a curve, you wouldn't be able to get anywhere near where you want it to get to. Gonna bring the shadows down a little bit, blacks down a little bit, warp up the contrast just a little more. Let me bring the whites up till we touch the very top of the scope, and then highlights down to give us some contrast in the clouds. And then lastly, add a little saturation in there to bring it all back. And then you'll be pretty close at this point and you might want to play with your white balance or add some other curves to it. Now different parts of your scene are going to have different requirements. So like here where we're way overexposed, we'll just probably don't have to go back to, this, to the curve, but we can just bring down the highlights and then make our scene pop a little bit more shadows a bit. There we go. And there's the before and after of using the curves instead of a LUT. I just find this way because LUTs are very unpredictable with how they produce the final image and you have a lot more control with the curve here and you can actually export your own LUT from the curve you've created if you want to use it as a preset in the future.